said, I want to see your driver's license, your proof of insurance, and your registration. I said, okay, but I don't want to startle you. I have them in the glove box along with nine hypodermic needles and three guns, and might as well mention the dynamite and fertilizer I have in the trunk. <laughs> oh, he grabbed me, he pulled me out of the car, and he handcuffed me. I love that. <laughs> and they called the bomb squad, and they came down and spent an entire hour going through my entire car. And finally, the captain of the bomb squad walked over to me, and I was laying on the ground handcuffed. <laughs> he didn't knock that off. He says, where are those hypodermic needles, those guns, the dynamite, and the fertilizer the officer told me you had? I said, he told you that? Probably told you I was speeding, too. <laughs> I think of my feet. I think of my feet. Even at my age, I can get down. I need help getting back up. <laughs> yes, I think I once got a ticket for running over a beer bottle. I couldn't even see it. The guy had his coat. <laughs> We've been at Walmart. Those are narrow aisles. Those old people come out of nowhere. Try Prozac, it's wonderful. My wife takes Prozac, I slowed her down. I can understand every word she's bitching about. <laughs> How long have you been married, sir? 10 years. 10 years, that's wonderful. I didn't know what happiness was until I got married, then it was too late. <laughs> 31 years, 31 years. And in 31 years, I have never cheated on my wife. God knows I've tried. <laughs> Sir, 12 years of Catholic school, you talk about rejection, 12 years of Catholic school, I never had a single priest make a pass at me. <laughs> Just what's wrong with me? <laughs> so where are you moving to, sweetheart? Florida. Florida. Wow, you'll see a lot of people like me. What I like about Florida is they said the last election was stolen because these people are so confused. They didn't know, they didn't hit the right spots on the ballot. I've seen these same people with 25 bingo cards. Never miss a goddamn number. <laughs> well, you'll like it out in Florida. Florida makes me feel young because of the humidity. Diaper rash. <laughs> Another thing I like better than getting out of the shower and knowing a towel won't do a damn bit of good. So you have a new job there? No. Nope, just going out to Florida and wait for old age. <laughs> but just going to take it easy. Just going to take it easy. She's retarded. <laughs> now they're heckling each other. <laughs> they're still in the dark, I can't see who heckled who. This one woman isn't moving, she's staring at me. <laughs> Are we married? Want to see quick and fresh to me in 1960? Just okay. <laughs> now he's getting polite. Play it. Quick and fresh to me in 1960. <laughs> I don't really remember 1960. And he wanted me to be an outdoorsman. Are you an outdoorsman, Sparky? No. No, me neither. I went duck hunting just once. The guy said duck, and I stood up to look, and he shot me in the butt. <laughs> I go fishing North Dakota style. Did you ever do that? No. That's fun. A piece of dynamite, a long line. <laughs> I came back with 47 pieces of fish, part of a bay liner, and a real pissed off water skier. <laughs> well, I have, I have five children, five all together, Catholic with no rhythm. <laughs> My 18-year-old, oh, he has a bond with me, boy. Two of us, we really bond because I saved him because you know how women are when it comes to her. Day he's born, she wanted to have him circumcised. Day he's born. I said, you're not gonna have him circumcised. I was circumcised the day I was born and I couldn't walk for a year. <laughs> I could hardly talk about it for two years. That's what dance the kids do. They call that dancing out of the heart and shuffle. <laughs> That's, that's dancing, that's not dancing, that's, that's painful. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? I feel like I'm in a lineup. Where are the other guys? Wouldn't it be terrible, the only one in the lineup? You're pretty much dead. I have a son who's a cop, man, he's funny, man. It's like the minute they graduate from, from the police academy, somebody puts a nightstick up behind him. 
that's why he has a nice stick. He can't scratch himself without it. And now he called me, he just called me the other day and he said he got promoted. He was going to Springdale to become chief. And I said, they only have one cop there, that's the chief. <laughs> and he walks up and down those two blocks, constantly patrolling. I couldn't figure out why. And I realized he couldn't find his car. <laughs> he even pulled me over, his own dad. I said, can't you let me off with a warning? And he fired five shots over my head. <laughs> I raised him, boy. I was involved with him, man. I got really hands-on. I changed his diapers once. <laughs> well, you don't do it twice, they pee in your face. <laughs> I went to the store and they had this beautiful product called Pampers and said right in the box, holds up to 35 pounds. <laughs> she walked in, she said, it smells kind of ripe in here. I said, don't worry about it, we got 22 pounds to go. And I noticed the kids would rather be punished by the father than the mother. And this is every generation. You know why? Mothers spank every word. Every word. And my mom used to do that to me, too, on my favorite holiday of the year, like 4th of July, when you're allowed to get really drunk and play with explosives. <laughs> I'd be out in the backyard playing with my kitty cat and my brother, and my mother would come out there and give me that look. That's before Prozac. She couldn't help it. <laughs> Bend over, young man. Don't. You ever stick a Roman candle up the cat's ass again? <laughs> it was hell for me. My mother stuttered. <laughs> <laughs>